Next question uh, is a question on black holes and uh, some consequences associated with it. So recently, uh, scientists observed the merger of giant black holes billions of light years away from the Earth. What is the significance of this observation? So uh, this is really interesting for the fact that they have asked about the significance of this observation. So they have put the question in a slightly different way, but it doesn't make much change to the actual intent of the question. So uh, basically the question is, okay, there are two black holes merging. I don't know whether we can even visually show it like this, but for common sense, in order to apply common sense, you have to think in that way, right? So you can think that there is a merger of two black holes happening. So what is the kind of uh, things that can happen after that? So let us look through the options first, okay? Higgs boson particles were detected, okay? First statement is about Higgs boson particles. So is there anyone who doesn't know what Higgs boson particle is? Then I think uh, I, 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 would, I wouldn't I would have any qualms in saying that your preparation won't be up to the mark because uh, in past three, four years, this has been the biggest, what do you call, the news in the, in the, the, in the, in the uh, natural science or the uh, theoretical science domain because you had the CERN experiment CERN experiment, the, the particle accelerator uh, colliding and it has been functioning for quite some time in order to generate the Higgs boson particle, which is otherwise known as the God particle. You would have seen if you had been following news that the particular day uh, next to this uh, discovery of Higgs boson, you had, you had all the newspaper heading with, okay, God particle in quotes. Okay, so uh, Higgs boson particle, detection of Higgs boson uh, particle has been done using a, a man-made equipment which run through over i guess it's about 26 kilometers or something between switzerland france and all those areas I, I don't know whether it's 26 kilometers even i think it's much bigger than that so that is the cern experiment and that is where you had the higgs boson particle uh, detection so i think that is a statement one is very easy to eliminate if you have some sense so second thing is gravitational waves were detected so Okay, so if you know what gravitational waves are, things become really easy. So most of these things uh, are Nobel Prize winning things, especially these gravitational waves. They had been uh, awarded Nobel Prize for that. So uh, maybe uh, another way in which you can approach this question is if you know about Einstein's relativity, the idea of relativity and how the space-time fabric would uh, uh, the, uh, how ripples would be created across space-time fabric and how that would lead to gravity excessive. If you have heard about those ideas, even you can make a logical deduction from the collision of black holes, right? Because you know that when something as massive as black holes, as dense as black holes collide, something has to uh, happen, right? So maybe what happens when, uh, uh, what do you call, two to what may be two uh, solid material. Maybe if you just have two cushions and if you just collide that too, you know, some dust, some, something of that sort would uh, ripple out from there, right? Maybe if you throw uh, stones into water, you know, something of that sort happens. So in that logic, maybe you can think that some particle or some wave has to be created. That is one way you can think about if you don't know what all these stuff are. So uh, that is one way you can think about it. Then the possibility of intergalactic space travel through wormhole was I, was confirmed. Okay, so that is a far-fetching thing. See, this idea of wormhole is it's just a theoretical idea, uh, and uh, if you uh, it's it's a theoretical idea. It has so much of uh, supporters among the theoretical physicist uh, groups. But the thing is, don't you think? If something uh, that facilitated intergalactic space travel has been discovered, it would have been a bigger news or it would have been a Nobel Prize winning discovery and you should have obviously known about it. Okay, that is one way you can think about it. Another way uh, would be, okay, wouldn't you think that Elon Musk would have been forming a company to start intergalactic space travel, right? So you know for sure that um, uh, if you apply some logic that to the kind of information you are taking from newspapers, I think you can easily conclude that this is not something that happened uh, or at least something that any of us knew about. So 
possibility of uh, travel through wormholes is something you can dismiss just because of the fact that had it been discovered, it would have been a big news and you being a civil service aspirant, you would have heard about him. Okay. So that is how I want to eliminate option C. Then option D, it enables the scientists to understand uh, the phenomenon of singularity. So phenomenon of singularity means it's about um, the kind of state we had in the initial, before the Big Bang, where all the forces of nature uh, were, at a, were, uh, were together. From the, it is from that point from where the gravitation force, the weak and the strong and all these nuclear forces came out. So the, the point before this separating is the point of singularity. But uh, uh, black hole colliding and the singularity. Singularity is something we uh, keep it to the Big Bang theory, right? The Big Bang, the initial Big Bang conditions. So, uh, so you know that recently two black holes colliding can't be something related to this initial Big Bang. So I think, see, it won't be uh, technically accurate, but that is kind of logic you can apply in this context to get that statement eliminated. Okay, so uh, the right answer here has to be gravitational waves. And it is the right answer. So I think uh, once more, if you just wrap it up, Higgs boson is something we know happened somewhere else. And wormhole and singularity are associated with different spaces. Wormhole, we know that if it has been uh, discovered, all of us would have known about it. It would have been a, a big hit. And since we don't know, we can assume that it didn't happen. And when it comes to singularity, it is something you assume or you uh, you associate with Big Bang theory, and you don't have to bring it to uh, the black hole collision. So, which leaves the idea of gravitational waves alone remaining, or if you think in the other way that when two things collide, something has to create in a wave form or a particle form. That is another way you can think about. If, if it's not through either this thing, you should know the thing, you should have studied this thing because it was a pretty important topic to learn about. So that's all for today. Thank you. Yeah.